is Manchester United 2, Brentford 1. Manchester United taking out that B spray and going to Brentford and telling them, no, 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 you ain't going to make any honey round here. No, 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 you ain't nesting here. No, we're going to make sure you bees away and buzz off, bruv. Manchester United collecting three points off the soul. <laughs> God damn, a win feels so good. It feels so good because we haven't been doing anything the last five games, seven games. Oh, three points tastes good. It does. It helps as well. Manchester United winning two one, and I have to say that first forty five minutes we was jack, we was shit. And at that point, then I know many of you Manchester United fans were screaming out at half time. Eric Ten Hag out. This team is full of shit. You come again after we've had an international week where we was at peace. Kumbaya, kumbaya, my lord, kumbaya. For you to try and disturb our peace in the first 45 minutes when Manchester United went 1 0 down against Brentford, we was pissed. We was furious. We was like, get this scrub out right now. But it is still get Eric Ten Hag out for me right now regardless of the result because again that 45 minutes just shows me it just shows me bro you're tactically inept and you don't know what you're doing in that first 45 minutes but you you know what you rectify the situation eric tenog showed us that yeah i kind of do know some ta ta tactics and made some changes in the second half which had huge impact in that game for us to win it big up to the manager in the second half I don't say this quite often, but big up to the manager. Manchester United done us justice, done us a bit of proud. But can they continue this? And you ask yourself, why can't you be like this in the whole 90 minutes? Why can't you be like this? The second half that we saw, why can't you do this consistently? But we're scrubs. We are scrubs. We're Manchester United. We, this is what we do. We are fuck boys as well. We're the reason why women call us man or trash. Because Manchester United's first start of the, 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 the Manchester United is man. Man or trash that stuff. Manchester United, man or trash, and this is the reason why women say because of Manchester United, we're flip flops, we're fuck boys, we do good and we do bad. United, seriously, seriously, seriously. But I'm happy. I'm happy with the three points. I'm happy that we got the win. But let's talk about the game because we talk about that first 45 minutes. This team was absolutely garbage. It was a poor first half. It was one of the worst first half I've ever seen from my team. The fact that I sat here 20 minutes into this game and for 68% possession of the ball, that was at towards Brentford. Brentford possessed us at home at Old Trafford for the first 45 minutes. Yes, you think we, were, we was the away team, but we wasn't. We was the home team. Brentford played like the home team. Played like it was their yard. But eventually it wasn't. And I was furious. I was like, no, 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 no. This just shows me how bad this manager sets this team up. When they scored that first goal, which was, of course, from the um, from corner and a header from Pinnock, which I thought was too easy. And and you can say, oh, Matt is the lit. You know, the referee was, was mean. He told him to come off because he's bleeding. First of all, Maddox, wrap his head up. What the hell? Put some bandages over his head. Then we would have never had this problem. You see, our medics are also inept. They're inept to making decision making. Their medics are not good enough as well. Medics out because, come on, that's so new. But yeah, you can blame the referee. But Manchester United, in terms of the way they set themselves up, and you would believe it, the formal set, the set piece coach that we currently have is the formal set piece coach of Brentford. You think they will know a thing or two about defending their set pieces? But we didn't. We conceded that goal. And I was furious. And Manchester United fans were right to def right to jeer us at halftime. Right to jeer those scrubs at halftime. Boo the crap out of them because they deserved it. The second half was far better. Because Manchester United were straight into it. They came alive. They were sharp. And the goal that came from Alejandro Garnacho with a fantastic cross by Marcus Rashford for Garnacho to finish it off. Because Garnacho was playing garbage in the first 45 minutes. Him and his cold D, Marcus Trashford. Both playing absolute shit. They were both pants, but they made it up. Rashford with the assist, Garnacho with a goal, and it was 1-1 one, one straight away in the first 40, uh, in the second half. And then Rasmus Hoyland, Manchester United, Christian Eriksen, with the pass to Bruno Fernandes to flick it to Rasmus Hoyland. For that dig that delightful finish, Ruth Anderson will be proud of you, my friend. What a finish 
What a goal. Manchester United winning that game. Two of the hanging on. Which we got the three points. And I'm happy about that. Big up to the team. You did what you had to do, guys. But are you impressed? Do you think Manchester United can be consistent? Because a bad first 45 minutes and then a good 45 minutes. But any other team that stronger than Brentford would have finished us. Would have, would have been gone. We would be screaming at every time I go out. It would be a different picture. But we got the three points. That's the most important thing. If, in terms of players today, we look at Bruno Fernandes and mixed halves. I, again, the first half, he was, he was just giving the ball away for fun. And I keep saying, the discipline. He lacks discipline. And the manager himself, do you, can, can you tell Bruno to cut his bullshit off? You just tell him, no, Bruno, stop it. Oh, are you too scared? It's like Bruno does whatever he wants. He does. Marcus Rashford as well. Same. Good first half. I mean, bad first halves. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I'm still recovering. But as I was saying, Marcus Rashford, bad first half, good second half. An assist today. But still not good enough when it came to the, the opportunity where he could have scored, where he could have made the right decision as well. You know, Rashford is still the same. Alejandro Garnacho, same as well. A bad first half and a good second half in terms of scoring a goal. But apart from that, he didn't really do much. Eriksen was class in the second half. And Dilit was a soldier. Dilit is the guy. Come on. Busted head and still goes and galvanized that team in the second half to come back. And he was just instrumental in the second half. Dilit is a warrior. Hoyland, thank you for the goal. But still, there's some more improvement. But I think I feel sorry for you. You, you can't score with these scrubs. They can't even feed you with properly. They, they, they gave you a goal today, but really, truly, throughout the whole game, first half especially, you couldn't find you, couldn't do anything. But the strikers will, will struggle to score in that Manchester United setup. My man, the match for me, guys, it has to be Matthias the Lit. Delightful performance from Matthias the Warrior the Lit. Soldiering on with that. Bloody head of his bleeding up. He was bleeding. But guess what? He stunned tall and he stood strong. And he finished that game. He was the guy. Captain. Future captain. What a guy. What a defender. Big up, Matthias Delit, man. Match United fans, I gotta be honest with you. I'm just gonna take this win and, and, and keep it humble. I don't see us going to Fenerbahce and rioting against them and causing a storm and beating them. It's gonna be a tough game against. Jose Mourinho's side. And Jose Mourinho wants that W. But guys, smash that like button. This has been your match reaction. Let me know what your thoughts of this game. Let me know who your man the match is and your donkey of the match if you do have one. And as well, tune in tomorrow. I'm tuning in on Monday, 8 p.m. UK time for the catch-up and of course the Europa League next week as well for the watch log. Till next time, remember to keep it united and remember to keep it ready now. Your boy is out. We have won three points. Can we do it again? We shall find out.